so this is the part two we're doing our makeup did my eyebrows did my concealer my foundation is really orangey so i don't want to i'm just going to do concealer today but let's just finish it finish the concealer because i'm going out tonight so i don't want to i want to redo my makeup for tonight i think but i don't want it to look like can't waste and then I, I use a beauty blender I don't know about y'all like I want to get the mini foundation brush from Sephora so that I can take it traveling because I have the non mini one and I do use that sometimes but I want to just get the mini one because it would be perfect honestly you guys I usually when I do full face of makeup I need like a, like a mirror, like a better mirror. When I do a full face of makeup, I put like powder on my face, I do. But recently it's just been like really like drying around my eye area and usually I put it under my eyes and up, but it's just been drying, like dry. We have dry skin. I It's honestly, this is like a cheap setting powder too. Like what do I expect? I got it from shoppers like. And I'm trying to get it to do wonders over here. <laughs> like, I'm going to get the one. I heard the one from... I'm going to get a better one and I'll let y'all know. I got to see with that. Okay. Oh, let's just do my eyes because my eyes are just not doing it for me right now. Like, on the camera. Because <laughs> I look so drowned out. I do not like it. Where is my... Oh, here it is okay eyeliner so for my eyeliner I usually okay should I actually do it properly so usually I freehand it and it looks like shit but like nobody cares and nobody knows because it still looks good on me you know what I mean like you can have not good eyeliner you know it's fine you guys like nobody cares trust me nobody cares nobody's gonna be like I mean they might like look at it and be like oh my god her eyeliner is fucked up but that's it if you're fun, it doesn't matter. Who cares? But yeah, if you actually want to look good and be like, you know, people be like, oh my god, your eyeliner looks so good. How do you do it? You cheat. You cheat, okay? Ugh. Dude, I need to put it like under my ears to like, <laughs> that looks funny though, to like hold on because my face is so oval. It just keeps popping off. But it looks funny. Okay, so eyeliner. Put the tape here. Make sure it's like you touch it like this because if the eyeliner goes underneath, it won't be a straight line. And then you go in like that. Yes. And then you can decide how far you want to go out. Fuck it, we're in LA. Let's go dramatic. Um. As if I don't do that anyway. But like now I have an excuse. Like nobody can. I hate people telling me I'm so extra. It's like no bitch. Like I'm not extra. You're just not enough. And it does not matter where you live. Bitch you can't. You know what I mean. You can take the bitch out of LA. But you can't take the LA out of the bitch. Like I'm just. That's what I'm. You know, and people do not understand that they're like, this girl's delusional. But I'll be delusional. You have to be delusional in this life, babe. Or you're just gonna stay where you're at. That's the thing. Okay. So like that. See how much non-sickly we be looking? You know what's the worst? Have y'all ever decided to do a light makeup look? a light makeup look it's like you know what let's just go natural today like let's do a little less foundation let's just do like let's just do like our eye makeup and not do anything on our face and then some freaking guy of course it's a guy because they don't understand shit has to come up and be like are you okay you look sick today it's always that you look sick because obviously you're paler because you didn't like yeah, I mean, we're all more paler than we are without makeup. Let's be, let's be real. 
I know we're in LA, but we can be real. We can be real. <laughs> why? Why do you like? Why do you feel like that's okay to ask me if I'm sick? Am I coughing? Am I sneezing? You can only ask me that if I'm coughing or sneezing. Don't look at my face. Don't look at me and be like, "Oh, you look sick." Because if I'm not sick, that's just rude. Like that's what. Like no, I'm not. Now it's awkward. Now I hate you that much more than I already do. <sighs> you know, I'm not talking about my boy. My boyfriend's never said that to me because obviously he, I think he's like used to seeing me without makeup, right? So like, obviously he knows I'm not sick and he knows he said that to me. Imagine. Divorce. That's a breakup right there. That is a breakup right there because no, that's not okay. So yeah, don't, if you're a guy watching this, first off, I hope you slay your makeup um, with this tutorial. And second of all, don't ever ask a girl if they're sick unless they're fucking coughing, okay? If they're looking a little paler than usual, no, girl, they're just, they did a light makeup look and they're hating their life. That's all it is right now. That's all it is. Don't make them hate it more with your curiosity, okay? It's uncalled for, it's rude, it's disrespectful, and frankly, I just don't want to stand for it anymore. That should be like, that should be like, that's, that's disrespect. I don't care. Are you sick today? Are you sick? You look sick. Oh, that is so fucking rude. <laughs> anyway, let's focus on this because how slow we're going with this makeup look, we are not going to be able to do a full face. Okay, there. That looks like pretty okay. Like if I would have took more time with it, it could have looked maybe a little better. But honestly, I'm just over it, you guys. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, that looks much better. Hey, less drowned out for sure. But yeah, I'm really liking this like concealer is just the foundation anyway so when i take this off do it sharp and it does take off your makeup right there so you do have to go back under your eyes which that's why i don't like doing honestly if you're gonna do it do it first because i wasn't gonna do it that's why but then ugh, you have to go back under it with your um whatever color you had because it does take it off there Yeah. There we go. <sighs> okay, so what should I do today? I think I'm going to go to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I literally am right, like, outside of it. So it's like I could just walk down and go there. Do y'all want to go to the Hollywood Walk of Fame with me and be basic and, like, I don't know. And then I just go under with a pencil. It's just kind of my signature thing. You can do this. I feel like it's more of a lighter look. Um, like it on, on my waterline. Oh, but like here, don't do what I did. Do it like kind of make it smudged out here, but then bring it really tight and up close. Like on it. For here. You don't want that one because then it'll make your eyes look droopy and shit. So here, smudged out, and bring it in like that. That makes sense. Okay. Next, um, maybe some nose contour. Oh, and like contour in general. I don't have a good like contour. I didn't want to bring my whole palette of contour. I need a good contour 
powder or something. But right now I've just been using, where are my things? Oh, here it is. So I've been using this while I've been here. Mm, it's not been my friend. It's not been my friend. It's not been helpful. So how I contour is I obviously do here. Oh, I don't want to get this dirty already. No, the first time. That sucks. That just really sucks. Because like, how do people not get that dirty? I just wasn't meant for nice things. Okay, so then you're gonna look a little crazy like this. And then like for the chin, y'all, I'm still trying to figure out the chin contour really. Um, the chin contour is not my friend and I still, I don't do it often. Like it's not, it's just not it for that. <laughs> Like, I know, like, some girls do this and they go, I tried that once. That was not my friend either. So let's just do this like this. I just kind of hope the chin contour turns out, but this one always does. My cheeks, my cheekbones always, like, be doing me right, honestly. This one person commented and was like, oh my god, you got way too much cheek filler on the one side. It's so obvious. I'm like... That is so, like, nice because I've never gotten cheek filler. So, like, that just must mean, like, I really, like, I did my makeup. I, I, I saw the video and I was like, damn, it really does look like one of my cheeks is, like, bigger than the other. Like, but I think it was just how I did my makeup that one day. I think, like, on one of the contour sides, like, I must have went under more or something. But it's just crazy that I can really make myself, like, look like... Like, my cheeks are, like, pretty cheeky or whatever. <laughs> but it's just cool that it's just nice to know that I don't have to spend money on that one. You know, if only someone could say before I got lip filler, oh, my God, your lips were so, are so big, like, you know, so that, you know. But they were, this one was tiny. My bottom lip's always been big. So I just like evened it out and I love it. I love a filler. If you want to get it, get it girl, like get it. I mean, some people like, yeah, have bad allergic reactions to it, but that's so rare. It's not like it, you're getting a BBL, you know, a BBL. I would just say work for it. I feel like that one would be a regret, but I would have probably, no, I don't know. Obviously I'm... The thing is, I really do feel like I can just accomplish it in the gym. So it's like, for me, I really just want to work out because I have seen like BBLs. Some BBLs look really good, but they are, some of them are just pictures, you guys. And if you've seen it in real life, you would be like, oh, that's not really the look that I'm going for, right? Like they still, some do still have to edit their pictures to, you know, like they don't have to do as much editing, obviously, and it doesn't look as like, like let's say I edited <coughs> sorry edited myself like really BBL like then you saw me in real life it's like no you're not even anywhere close but if you have a BBL then it's like okay like she's kind of that shape she just tightened it in right so it's like okay um so it's up to you I mean I do any like do anything you want like at the end of the day a hater is gonna hate for a second and then you're gonna be living your life right so it's not like you know what I mean? But I get it, like, you do get a lot of hate when you get a BBL. Like, if you get hate, you're gonna get hate on anything you get. So just make sure you're okay with, like, being hated on your body because people really feel like it's okay to come for people with BBLs because, like, oh, you bought that, it's fake. Like, you know, body shaming is only not okay, like, when you're fat, I guess, right? And then, like, when you do something to your body or anything, people can say whatever you want. For me, it's, like, I don't care, just say whatever on anything, right? <laughs> but like one's not better than the other. To me, it's all hate. It's all, you're, you know, it's all like you're making someone feel bad. So it doesn't matter like if it's a fake or not, like, you know, whatever. But again, like the, for me, I'm not just gonna say it to some random person. Like I'm not like gonna be a hater to be a hater and be like, 
oh, call you on your BBL. If you say something to me and you have a botched BBL, maybe I'll mention it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. If you so happen to be fat and you say something about me, girl, like maybe I'll mention it. I don't know, right? Like that's the thing. But I'm not just going to be out here being like, oh my god, that girl's so fat. Like, no, like I don't care. I honestly don't care until you until you got me looking at you because you say something about me you say something about me i'm gonna look at you right is that not is that not fair like you say something about me i'm like okay well let's see what you got oh that's you i, I like you did you not know that you'd be looking like this girl let me let me tell you about it because you're coming on my page talking you must have not known this <laughs> let me point that out for you but then all oh, their friends just see what I say about them and then it's like, oh my god, you're so hateful. This is... Maybe I'm just hateful. Maybe I'm a hateful bitch. I do not care. Because they did not see what they said to me first, right? Because it's like, my friend. Um, that's my friend and I'm going to back up my homegirl, this and that. So I mean, I, I don't even hate... Um, I can't hate it, like, if they want to come for me. Okay, now I'm doing my nose contour, obviously. Um... Y'all, it's always a hit or miss on my nose contours. So, like, if it comes out, great. Do what I did. If it doesn't, like, girl, you're on your own for that. I'm sorry. But, yeah, anyway, so, yeah, that's just how I feel about that. Um, I don't really care that people think I'm a bitch online because I will say whatever I want to say when you come for me. Like, that's just that. That's just the, the it with that. So, do people think I say out-of-pocket things sometimes? Yeah. I mean, is it deserved? Maybe not, but I go hard. Like, if you're going to come on my page, like, I go hard. Like, go hard or not at all. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you're going to comment hate on my page, it better be a hateful-ass comment. Because I'm going to come to you with a hateful-ass comment. So if you're, it's a weak hate comment, it's still a hate comment. Like, just because mine's better doesn't mean shit. Like, you know what I mean? It's not my fault that you're weak at, like, hating. It's not my fault. Like, be better. You know, or I hurt your feelings. Like, girl, you weren't you trying to hurt mine? Like, nobody can hurt my feelings. Are you stupid? So. And then I'm the bad guy. Oh, well. Sometimes there has to be, like, there has to be villains in stories, right? So, that's okay. I will take that role and I will do it with my heart. And I will do it with all I have yes this nose contours i don't want to jinx it but why is it actually looking like good today but i think i'll fuck it up by not blending it out because <laughs> i just kind of want to leave it like that is that even no that looks good like i don't want to fuck it up because it's actually looking really good i don't want to like but I know it needs to be blended a little more. But this is where, like, once I get a, like, I feel like I start fucking it up. Let's put a lid on this so I'm not tempted to use it. And let's blend it out. Blend it out. And then, like, you should put a little concealer there. How do I do this without messing it up, though? Oh, y'all. This is what happens. This is how it happens. Okay, that was good. That was straight. Now I don't have a brush for that though. Damn. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. No. Ooh. See, I should have just left it. What was I thinking? As if I could be that lucky. Oh my god. No, it was better before, but we can still recover. We can still fix this. Okay. That's pretty good, right? Y'all, comment is this blended enough or should have it been blended more, but I'm still gonna leave it. And I'm gonna spray it. We're not taking any chances with that. 
that's good. Okay. So yeah, see how the definition and everything? I really like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Oh, and then also like sometimes like if you really want to do a good job, okay, I'll do it. Y'all yeah, convinced me. Okay, 21 minutes. Y'all come back for the next one. I, don't, I like to keep them like 20, sorry. Okay, next one will be like finishing touches like, yeah. 